All right, so as we dive into the audio side of things, it is important to remember that you will need Pro Tools 12 HD to mix in spatial audio, which I have in front of us today. So first what I'd like to do is to import the video footage that we had previously exported out of Adobe Premiere Pro. And I will need the audio from the video file as that will be important to sync up the footage. All right, my video is in. I'm gonna go ahead and mute that for now. I'm not gonna need it quite yet. Next, I'd like to import the audio footage that I recorded using the new Sennheiser Ambio microphone, which is a spatial audio mic that records ambisonic audio. It actually has four capsules on board and with a breakout cable that allows you to record four separate channels of audio at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and import that now. I'm gonna to wanna to put this in my clip list because if you'll notice, as I do, a different kind of file appears. It's a four channel file. So if I open that file, we have all four channels that are pretty visible there. And that's very important. That's a, that's a key element to mixing in spatial audio that you'll wanna make sure you import um, is the uh, four channel uh, audio file. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a quad audio track. You'll notice as I drag the uh, four channel audio file to the track, all four channels appear with audio on them. Here, I'll make that a little bigger. All right, it, it is grayed out right now, but that will uh, be corrected as we continue our steps and processes. So next we can go ahead and create our stereo master fader. I'm also going to label this track so we don't confuse ourselves. Let's flip over to our mix window here. Uh, we have our tracks here, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate uh, a specific plugin that I downloaded. It's available for free by G Audio, and it's called G Audio Works. And uh, it's this plugin right here, which is called G Works Slave. I'm going to open that. What that does is it actually um, labels this track as a specific ambisonic source. So you can see, since I have an ambisonic four-channel track there, it recognized it as an, as an ambisonic audio file, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, the interactive uh, button here means that when I export this file, do I want the audio to react to when people turn their head, like when they wear a VR headset? And my, that answer to that question for me is always yes, because I want the audio to be uh, spatial. I don't want the audio to be headlocked to uh, the headphones, no matter where you turn your head. I want, I want the audio to respond to the user's interactions. So I leave that where it is. And that's pretty much all I need with this menu. If we pop over to the master fader here, I'm gonna go to the same menu here and I'm going to activate the uh, GWorks Master plugin. Now this is where the fun begins. This is where you can actually start to manipulate the audio and video to uh, get spatial results. And you can see I have an ambisonic audio track already showing up here because of my GWorks Slave plugin that I activated on the track over there. So one thing I'm noticing is that I'm still grayed out on my uh, on my track over here. So let's let's go ahead and fix that. So now I'm active, which is good. So now what we want to do is we want to flip over back here and we want to start to sync up our audio and video together using the four channel audio as well as the camera audio. Um, and this is a very important and crucial step. It's very important that you get uh, the audio and video synced as close as possible so that going forth, uh, everything sounds as convincing uh, as, as virtually possible.